And now, your first alert five weather. Hey everybody, check out some viewer video from Carl up in Woodland Park around his house. And it was actually coming down really, really heavily. Uh, this was at about 10 a.m. So we knew there was going to be some snow showers to flurries, but this definitely one of those snow showers that actually had a little bit more punch to it, but not enough to actually really do much to the ground. Although the good news here is that's a sign that there is some cold air and the ability for a little bit more snow than we had earlier forecast in Woodland Park. So I've actually Knocked the totals up just a little bit compared to this morning and Monument Hill was one of those spots. Now I've, I've seen a couple flurries on the camera, but obviously nothing is happening on the ground. It is windy though, and it's 28. The fact that Monument Hill is so cold is going to lead us to a better chance of getting closer to that one inch mark, even though the interstate is still going to shrug a lot of that off. Now Colorado Springs, we are much warmer at the airport. We're in the lower 40s, whereas our studio right here at Rock Rimmon is at about 38 degrees, so it's still very cold across the Pikes Peak region, but not as cold as Teller County or Monument Hill. Pueblo, well, we're at 50. To be honest, it's almost kind of a nice day with that temperature, but the clouds are trying to come on in, and we're still thinking some rain will fall in Pueblo, then a little bit of snow this evening. So we are a lot warmer out to the east, and we've got a pretty strong, robust easterly wind pushing across the region. Now, when we track your hour by hour temperatures at noon, we know we're in those 40s and 50 there in Pueblo, and this is the warmest we're going to get because in Colorado Springs and Pueblo, those temperatures continue to tick down from here. Now, all morning we've actually seen a good chunk of rain and some snow out there, but not all of this has been hitting the ground. Actually, a lot of it was Virga, which is like a rain or snow that doesn't really hit the ground. Now there is better shower and snow activity in our southern mountains, and we're also seeing those flurries from Teller County to Monument Hill. And the model nailed that rain and snow. It knew it was going to be fairly light through the lunch hour, but then we were going to be looking from 2 to 3 o'clock for some accumulating snow to start pushing back into the Pikes Peak region and then from four to six o'clock that snow fills into the south. Now you need to remember that Highway 50 corridor from Canyon City to Pueblo is pretty warm, so this will be rain at first, but we will try to turn that to snow through the evening hours, especially over Fremont County. And I do feel like Pueblo, we've got a shot at getting some snow. This is eight o'clock at night. By nine to 10, we're snowless in El Paso County, and we really only have some snow at our southern mountains and valleys. Now we gotta get to your totals here. I've nudged totals up a bit in Monument, Black Forest, and over Woodland Park. Have haven't really touched much from Woodland or from the wet mountains, Rye to Westcliff, one to three inches generally, and a little bit more to Levita. But when we take a look at the Pikes Peak region, because we're colder in Teller County and we're colder up in Monument Hill, I went with about a trace to an inch in Monument. Most guidance is saying a half inch to an inch is kind of the new forecast. Black Forest won't be too much different, but for downtown and most of Colorado Springs, even though it will snow, we still think generally we're less than a half inch actually sticking to the grass. Overnight, when all the snow clears out, it gets very cold. Lows kick back into the teens, and then we look at our super for seven day and our focus is still primarily on that Wednesday today forecast. The timing is accumulating snow from about three o'clock to 10 o'clock this evening in the Pikes Peak region. Teller County gets the most. Downtown should be less than a half inch and I think Monument Hill is probably a trace to an inch. Newer guidance is really saying we could get a lot closer to that one inch mark. Now Thanksgiving tomorrow is cold in the morning and chilly in the afternoon and Hanukkah on Sunday starts in the evening, but the day Sunday looks fantastic. Pueblo, we are going to be in the 50s tomorrow for Thanksgiving. We are then looking at a dry weekend. On Sunday, Hanukkah begins, and it's a fantastic stretch of days. It's really dry, too, so we're hoping to get some moisture today to help this drought situation. In Canyon City, we've got some rain that'll turn to snow tonight, up to an inch in the forecast for Canyon City. We do think we're dry through the weekend. And finally, Woodland Park, I've raised it up to about one to three inches of snow today and tonight, so it could be slicky on Highway 24. And then we're cold on to Saturday. All right, Renee. Let's go uh, to break instead.